It's a private limited company. Yeah, let's read about it. What is a private limit company or BV? So from here on, I will say BV. A private limit company or in Dutch, a besloten vennootschap is a business structure with legal personality. This is something important. They call it the legal personality, but technically it's called legal form. And when you say legal form, um, yeah, let's keep it with legal personality. Legal form means that when you have an, um company that has a legal personality or legal form doesn't matter how you call it they can create contracts they can create they can sign contracts and a lot of things and that's important especially for liability but let's keep reading that means that the bv is generally speaking liable for any debts so if the bv um, sign a contract and there's debt the bv is uh, liable for that rather than you as an individual as a director, you are an employee of the BV and you can act on its behalf. That's important. So you have a BV, you act on the behalf of the BV. You can sign a contract on behalf of the BV. So you are not personal liability, liable, but the BV is when something goes wrong. Keep that in mind. So you can set up a Dutch BV with yourself as the only director major shareholder DGA or with other individual and or legal entities. So keep in mind when you have a BV, you can do a lot of things, but there are also some responsibility. So let's look at a private limit company equity is divided into share that are owned by shareholder. They are also hold ultimate power, but the power, but the company director run the business on a day to day basis. So you have shareholders and you have director. That's important. I will show you that soon. A private limited company may appoint and supervise a board to monitor its board of directors or the supervisor may be part of the board of direction. Single tier. Interesting. We, will go, we also discussed that. In smaller BVs, the director is often also the only shareholder, in which case he or she is the director and a major shareholder. And the Dutch director and growth aandeelhouder DGA. You can also opt to have more directors to share the responsibility. There's no legal requirement to the number of directors of BV. So that's a lot of information. And when you read it, you'll be like, okay, I don't understand it, or you understood some of that, and you know technically how it works. But uh, let's uh, look at a couple of things. So let's say we have a BV. Is this the BV? I'm gonna draw two because um, I want to look at two term situation. This is the BV one. This is BV two, right? So we have two situation. Oh. So we have two situation. Here, let's say we have one shareholder, one, and that shareholder is also board member same person so the same person is this yeah same person shareholder board member and this is the dta so technically the director growth handel so the person has technically 100 percent shareholder 100 percent share yeah But let's say here, if you have a BV, you have the shareholders. Let's say we have four shareholder and we have, let's say two directors or board members. Doesn't matter how you call them. The director of board members, doesn't matter how you call them. They can also be shareholder, but it doesn't have to. What you need to keep in mind is when you have a BV, you have shareholder and you have board members. The board members can be shareholder and the shareholder can be board members. Technically the same. But sometimes we have shareholder, they are not directors or uh, board members. Keep that in mind. Here, you have one person is running a BV, you have four person and two um, directors, they are running the BV. That's something you need to keep in mind. So where can you get that information? Here you see 
a private company is um, divided into share that are owned by shareholders. So we have a shareholder. They also hold ultimate power, but the company directs run the business on the day to day basis. So technically, if you look here, you see you have the shareholder, but they have the power of the company. But the day to day decision will be made by the board members or the directors. Keep that in mind. Yeah. And um, what they also can do, the shareholder can create a supervisor board. That means you appoint some people and those people will keep an eye on the directors. Most of the most time this happens when you have a bigger company and you have supervisor board. The supervisor will keep an eye on the directors so they, um, and they inform the technically the shareholder. You don't have that often with small BVs, but most time with big companies, you have that. So if you're an employer, you do not belong in this part. Unless you are director, you are employed by the BV. But most time employer, they come in, manager will be here, and an employer will be here. And the same apply here. You have one person, they can have a manager, and they can have employers that are working for the BV. It's that simple. Yeah. So if you look at the question, what's the private limit company? We have a clear definition. The clear definition you can find it in the law. Here. Yeah. And this is the Dutch version and this is the English version. You can find a clear definition of what is the private uh, limited company. So you yeah, legal persons. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys have a question about it, yeah, just go on the Discord and ask me directly and I will see what I can do for you. See you next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, lament, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great.